Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Fishing Addicts videos. Thank you for stopping by and joining us today. Stay tuned for some awesome bluegill fishing. <laughs> <laughs> we start really late. Yeah, we start really late. We're, you know, late starters, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're out here in the Delta today, uh, moving different place to place. We went out here for a little bit. We only caught one so far. I don't know if I can show that on the camera later on, but um, yeah, we're going to keep trying, so stay tuned, thank you for joining us, and we'll be, be back with some fish. Alright, see you in a bit. It's just, it's always just gets filled with stuff, we don't really put them, we got, we use so much stuff, we fish for so much stuff. You know, we fish with so many different species that it's um, that it's hard. Now, what's, what's the weight, the fish weight thing? I don't see it. Oh, look at this one. No. Oh, what you got? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, what's the new weight scale? Down there somewhere. I don't know. Hella nice. Anywhere. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Boy. There you go. That's a pretty nice one. Yeah, another small. Small. Oh, that's not small. Oh, that's still nice. Yeah, that's really nice. There it is. That's pretty nice. Cute. Really nice. And me, I get on the bush. I can see the fish right there on the bush. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Wow. Oh, there you go. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. Look at that. If I can turn this one sideways, stop spinning. That's see? Pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. So we keep telling people we're down here eight mile road, that's pretty much where we are. You know, I just keep trying different spots until you find them. We're just on the edge here, casting out a little right here. Here's my setup. Worm about a foot apart, maybe not even. That's it. Just a little drop shot. Cast out there, give it a minute. Maybe less. Oh, I think I have a big Look at that. Or maybe it was my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Could be either one, huh? So fishing for red air, we're it's always on the bottom. You know, we're not using barber or anything like that. So they like to be right on the bottom. Same size. Look at how pretty that is. This is all good size. Delta, this is pretty good. Yeah, for Delta, it's pretty good. Yeah. There are a few exceptions to get like foot long, but it's not a whole lot of those. All about that size. 
you know, it's pretty darn good. Dinner time. Anybody ready? Yep. Y'all ready for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Red ears, and then uh, someone have asked about what's the best uh, plier. We got this one. Found it. Skinny. It's good enough. You can actually go into the mouth. See how easy that is. So I don't know the name of it, but it's pretty nice. Okay. I don't know the name. I'm sorry.
tell you, the fish only goes into the bush. The weed. fish right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a first. <laughs> Got my line on there too. I think I have two on mine. Yeah, because there's only three hooks. Oh yeah. Yeah. The bottom one's good. Throw your line out so that then it's not doesn't look like it's three of them there, not three hooks. Oh, that was fast. No, don't go to the weed again. I lie. This kind. <laughs> Still a good palm size. But we're talking the uh, the red ear ones. Wow, look at that one. A nice mixture. Nice one. Yeah, black ear but with the mixture. I don't know what you call them. Hybrid. Yeah, I think the blue and the red ear mm -hmm. mixed. It's a nice hybrid. Okay. I'm going to clean some of this red ears for dinner tonight.
It's a nice good size on my palm side at least that's good. The reason I'm using this basket is the drainer basket uh, bowl is so that all the, the uh, scales, would, uh, most of the scales, will go in there instead of clogged up the drain. I caught this. Yesterday, I got too tired, didn't want to prep it, so I'm doing it today. Still as fresh. that we use to cut fish. My husband likes to take the head off. <laughs> I like to keep it on. It looks a lot better. It looks, doesn't look like a headless fish. Looks nice and clean. Beautiful. Mix it with a little bit of garlic salt with parsley. Add a little flavor onto that. So I test the temperature by putting one in there, in there first. You want to crowd, you don't want to crowd them.
by about five minutes. Nice and brown, but not too crispy brown. all parts of the cilantro and I kind of cut a little bit fine right here but when it gets to when there's more leaves less stalks then I'm gonna cut, cut not as fine okay These are the ingredients, cilantro, carefully, tomatoes, yellow onion, peppers, garlic. Meantime, I'm waiting for this one to cook. Use some of the oil from here. Can't go wrong with the garlic first. And that's just only with salt, nothing yet. Let's go to the last one. The lunch room. Okay. 
Is that with the cilantro? Yeah, yeah. So the seasoning, the golden mountain seasoning sauce. Gluten free. I put that little bit salt. Mmm, flavor's good. Not turn it off. I'm going to just spray this on top of this. I hope you guys can see it. Oh, man. Look at that. Here's the golden one. Oh, I want to add a little bit of this my fried onion bulbs. Okay, there it is. So looking good. It smells so good too. I gotta have a bite here. Mmm. <laughs> so flavorful, so yummy.